Morning all, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe. It's Friday the 26th of June 2020. Again, a lot to get through today, so let's get right to it. So a few people have asked me about my dog who appeared in the video yesterday very briefly. So this is her, this is Snowball. She's 11 years old now. Uh, she came from Dubai with us when we moved from Dubai. She was a tiny pup when we got her and she's been with us ever since. So yeah, see, uh, you might hear her grumbling and barking around the garden. She likes to, to uh, just chase squirrels. We don't really know what kind of dog she is. We, we think she's kind of part Saluki. Come here, come here. Um, but she's also part, we think, Saudi Arabian Khan. She's got that look to her, but there she is, yeah. So she's uh, anxious to get on and, and do her own thing now. So that's, that's Snowball. Okay, so first off, Disney's annual pass holders are allowed to reserve their spots in the parks today. It's live. I've already done one of my parks on August the 8th. I am only a silver pass holder, so I am trying to upgrade that, and then I'll cancel my reservation and hopefully get one for quicker, for sooner than that. But I'm on August the 8th at the moment. I only did one just to test it out, and I'll do two more later. Um, US cases, highest ever recorded yesterday, unfortunately. Um, deaths are still flat, actually. Um, not, not keeping pace at all with, with the number of cases. Just not good, not good overall for the US. It's having an impact. Florida cases, still over 5,000 yesterday. Not a record, but close to it. Again, deaths not really keeping pace. Great news. Hospitals are filling up a little bit now um, with people who are getting sick because of it, though. I don't know how much room we've got left, but yesterday we were okay. Um, Florida ranked number three yesterday behind Texas and California in new number of cases and Orange County was second only to Miami-Dade. The number of positive cases yesterday, however, was good news. Although there was 5,000 positives, it was only half the, the rate. It was 9.6%, I think, rather than 19% the day before. So actually good news on over 50,000 tests yesterday. So let's not just focus on the number of cases. Um, Ron DeSantis yesterday said he had no plans to go into phase three reopening, thank God. Uh, but he still has no, no plans either to uh, make masks wearing mandatory in Florida. Weather today, uh, yeah, it started off warm, um, no wind at all, sunny. It's going to be 98 degrees here today, which is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be 98 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees centigrade here today. So very, very sticky. No rain forecast, and I, I, I can't believe that with, with 98 degrees. Despite the petition coming along from uh, cast members at Disney World, Disney World have confirmed they will reopen on July the 11th. However, now the Actors Equity uh, Association, who control, not controls, represents about 800 uh, cast members in Disney World, has voiced its opinion, saying that they don't think the health and safety regime is enough, and it's asked Disney World to push back the opening as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. I've included the park availability calendar now from July the 11th to the 18th. It's already out of date, so what you see in the video um, in detail news is a little bit out of date because AP holders have got in there and they've bombed a couple of those dates out completely now. But now it looks like Disney are running two calendars. So they're running a calendar for resort guests and one for AP holders. And I guess they'll run another one for other ticket holders staying off site from Sunday. And the reason I know that they're running two calendars is because if you click on resort guests and then AP holders, there's a different calendar. There are, there are dates blocked out for AP holders that aren't yet blocked out for resort, for, uh, resort guests. So they're holding some back for resort guests. And I'm, guess, I'm guessing they might be doing the same for off-site guests on Sunday, but we'll see that on Sunday. Splash Mountain is being rethemed uh, from the Song of the South into Princess and the Frog. It will reopen on July the 11th as the current Splash Mountain Song of the South. Disney haven't said when it's going to close, nor when it's going to reopen as Princess and the Frog. I did uh, store closings for uh, Magic Kingdom yesterday. I've, today we'll see the store closings for Animal Kingdom and then I'll do Hollywood Studios and Epcot the following days. Again, quite a lot of um, stores not open in Animal Kingdom. Kind of big news coming along maybe for SeaWorld. Um, if it happens, it's enormous news. Their major shareholder is pushing potentially for bankruptcy. No more flesh on those bones yet, but I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on that, see where that goes. And then finally, breaking news this morning, TUI, the European holiday operator, has cancelled all holidays to Florida up to November. This is because of a spike in cases uh, of COVID in Florida, uh, allegedly. So that's the main headlines for today. If you're new to the channel, 
please do subscribe, hit that notification bell, press all and you'll get this stuff six days a week with something else on Sundays. Um, if you like what you're seeing, if you're getting benefit from it, please press like, the algorithm likes likes. If you know somebody who might benefit from the video as well, please share it. Okay, let's get to the news. New cases recorded across the US yesterday was 40,184, that's the highest ever recorded. The number of deaths yesterday across all 50 states was 649, that trend seems to be flattening out. In Florida yesterday we had our second highest day ever at 5,004 cases. 44 deaths were reported across Florida yesterday. Florida ranked third in the nation in the number of new cases yesterday behind California and Texas. 730 cases were reported in Orange County yesterday, that's a new record. That's up from the previous day's previous record of 544. Yesterday's 5,004 new cases comes from 52,372 tests. That's a 9.55% positive rate. So although we had over 5,000 cases yesterday, the positive rate was actually only half of the previous day where we had 5,511 new cases. There were 201 hospitalizations yesterday and that's 0.38% of all tests. 44 deaths represent 0.08% of all tests. The weekly stats from three days of results are as follows. New cases are at 13.36% positive. That's an increase of just over 1% on last week. Hospitalizations are up 0.05% and deaths up 0.022%. Governor Ron DeSantis says he has no plans to move to the next phase of reopening. During a press conference in Tampa on Thursday, DeSantis said, We are where we are. I didn't say we're going to go on to the next phase. You know, we've done a step-by-step -step approach and it was an approach that's been reflective of the unique situation of each area. DeSantis didn't say anything on the mandatory wearing of masks across the state. Today's weather in Orlando, we're expected to get to the hottest day of the year at 98 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 37 degrees centigrade, but no rain. Across the next 10 days, the daytime low is going to be 93 degrees. As I've said for the past couple of days, a petition has been started by some Disney World cast members in order to try and stop Disney World reopening on July the 11th. However, the company has said it has no plans to change that date. Also yesterday, the Actors Equity Association which represents around 800 cast members at Walt Disney World, also asked Disney World to postpone the opening of its park. Mary McCall, Executive Director of Actors' Equity Association, said, It is deeply disturbing that while coronavirus cases in Florida surge, Disney is refusing to provide regular testing to one of the few groups of workers in the park who, by the very nature of their jobs, cannot use personal protective equipment. Walt Disney World has produced another No Before You Go video, this time for its Park Pass system, which is its park reservation system. I've got a link to that video above. The Park Pass system is now live for annual pass holders. I can confirm that at least for me it's working without any hitches this morning. I booked my passes for Magic Kingdom on August the 8th. Don't forget that if you're not staying at a Disney Resort and you're not an annual pass holder, you can't make any reservations until Saturday, that's June the 28th. If you have tickets to hand, you can make reservations from that date right up to September the 26th, 2021. As at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time on June the 26th, 2020, this is how the availability calendar looks for Disney World Parks. On July 12th, there are no reservations left for Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's the same for July the 13th. There's also no availability in Animal Kingdom on July the 14th. Epcot and Hollywood Studios open on July the 15th and there's no availability for Disney's Hollywood Studios that day. Hollywood Studios is proving to be very popular as there's no availability on the 16th either. It's the same on July the 17th and also on the 18th of July. After that though, every date right up to September the 26th, 2021 is available for reservation. Following rumours that Splash Mountain would be rethemed, it has been confirmed that the retheming will be Princess and the Frog. When Magic Kingdom reopens on July the 11th, Splash Mountain will feature in its current condition. Disney hasn't said yet when Splash Mountain will close for this refurbishment, nor when it will reopen. Yesterday I gave a rundown of all the stores that wouldn't be open in Magic Kingdom when that park reopens on July the 11th. Today I'm looking at the stores that won't be opened in Animal Kingdom on July the 11th. They are as follows. The Boneyard Cart. Colours of Moara. The Dino Land Cart. Island Mercantile. Kali Cart. Maharaja Cart. Maria's Souvenirs. The Outpost Shop. Riverside Depot. The Tree of Life cart, Yak and Yeti Back to Poor Market, Ziwani's Traders, and finally Zuri's Sweets Shop. I mentioned a few days ago that SeaWorld seemed to be having trouble paying its building contractors on its new themed rides. 
this story is now emerging about its largest shareholder potentially pushing it into bankruptcy. There's no more news on this at the moment, but I'll keep following it. Some late news this morning is that European travel operator TUI has cancelled all holidays to Florida until November 2020. This is due to a spike in coronavirus cases in Florida. This affects all customers from the UK and Ireland. So US cases seem to be going up across the board now, albeit that New York, New, uh, New, York, New Jersey, Connecticut, not even in that list uh, that I've showed today. So I'm showing the top five states. Florida ranking well up there. California and Texas as well now. Um, I'm actually going to Texas since so I'm flying from the frying pan into the fire. Um, yeah, don't know what we can do about it really. It's, um, it's disappointing to say the least. Uh, thankfully, deaths are not keeping pace at all with uh, new cases, which is a, that's just still great news. Um, deaths are flat whilst cases are spiking. It's the same kind of story in Florida. Um, different demographic being hit, less people getting hospitalised as a percentage um, on, on cases and deaths again not going up very very much at all based on number of cases so it's, it's good news overall but it would be very very good news if we just didn't have this at all the more people go out the more people socialize the more cases there are going to be it appears um, Ron DeSantis still won't mandate mask wearing I don't think he ever will He's, at least he said he's not looking to go into phase three. That would have been complete craziness. So I don't know when he's going to do it. He, he can't possibly do that until cases start to come down. I don't know how much pressure now is going to be put on Disney World to reschedule its opening. I don't know if it can. I think that, that train is moving too quickly now. And I just don't think it can stop, regardless of who comes along. Now, the only thing that I can see putting a real stop on this is if the um, Actors' Equity Association and its members at Disney World, its cast members at Disney World, who are basically all the actors at Disney World, go on strike and then there'll be no shows at all. Now, that could prove very costly to those people, those individuals, because I guess Disney World could fire them and get more, more in. Um, would it be enough to stop them opening? It probably wouldn't. Would it mean that more shows would be closed? Yes, it would. All the shows would be closed, which basically means that, that Disney World would simply be um, rides and that's pretty much it. Rides and a bit of food if you can get it and some shops if you can get them and some characters if you can wave to them from a distance. It, it would be terrible quite frankly so let's let's see where that goes. Um, AP holders can book from today that happened quite early I think that happened around six o'clock eastern eleven o'clock in the UK so yeah I got in there very quickly with, with just wanting to see if it worked it did and it was fine so I'm guessing AP holders are going to gobble up some days but as I say resort holders seem to have some days held back I do hope that, um, that non-resort guests and non-AP holders with tickets will have plenty to choose from from the 28th. After the 18th of July, it is open. Everything's open right the way through to September 26, 2021. So it's not like it's terrible. It's only terrible for the first few days right now. So I'm guessing people from out of state and, and, and nobody from um, overseas can come into the US anyway. So it, it won't affect anybody in the early days. Uh, Splash Mountain, yeah, it's, it's been on the cards for a long time, hasn't it? Song of the South is, uh, you know, deemed to be now a, a, a racist story, and uh, Disney's been, I guess, mulling over which to move it to, which story to move it to for a long time. So they've come down with Princess and the Frog. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it'll be fresh, it'll be new, and I'm sure it'll be a fantastic theme, and I'm sure all the anim animatronics and stuff will be absolutely state of the art. So, yeah, absolutely looking forward to that. No news yet, uh, on when it will be opened yet, or when or when the, the current Splash Mountain will be closed. Animal Kingdom, tons of shops again, closed down, usual thing now with um, with stores. I don't know when they're going to be reopened, but yeah, what more can I say? SeaWorld, massive news potentially for SeaWorld. What are they going to do? Um, will, their, will their biggest shareholder push for bankruptcy? What, what good will that do them? Will it mean that SeaWorld moves away from animals into more of a just a roller coaster a six uh, six flags type operation um you know it, it looks like they've over expanded a little bit too quick and this coronavirus has kind of pushed them to the brink it looks like again no news no flesh on those bones at the moment but i will be doing some more research into that very very soon and then tui huge news for tui unfortunately for a lot of people and maybe some people who, who watch this channel tui cancelling all holidays to florida up until november um yeah, I, I don't know whether there's anything behind that other than the fact that there is a spike in cases here in Florida. Um, 
I don't know what that what that's got to do with Chewy. It seems that they're taking their customers' uh, wants and needs into their own hands rather than letting their customers decide for themselves. Maybe a lot of people have cancelled and maybe their flights are only a third full or something like that, so it's not worth Chewy um, actually operating the flight. I don't know, haven't heard anything more about that, but yeah, that's it. So um, that is the news for today. Um, sorry to, to finish on that very sad note. That is the news for today. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow for, for more. Please join me then. Up until then, take care and I'll see you then. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.